So for those those people, they fail the more conservative treatment. So then usually we can try the other less aggressive method, such as uh, injection would be one of the uh, method. And um, uh, currently, uh, in the recent few years, and um, pale rich plasma will become a hot topic so in, in muscular skeletal view, uh, view. and um, and pale rich plasma actually is that which we we withdraw our own blood and to consent to 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 make it more concentrated so inside it inside the pale rich plasma we have a lot of the factors that are essential for healing so in in all laboratory study which definitely show that they will promote the healing it mainly include the tendon ligament or muscle even muscle so that's why they they are now applicable to using in Achilles ten, treating the Achilles tendinopathy and uh, some of the sport physician or the orthopedic surgeon will inject this into the surrounding the Achilles tendon and they try and or, or and they are aimed to promote the healing on the on the Achilles tendon but however that all those of clinical study, which is, is relatively short term, and uh, we at up to this moment we don't have a really solid evidence base uh, whether it is use or useful or not. Because uh, and uh, some and many study they are contradictory to each other. Some of them say it is useful. Some of them say that it just like a um, placebo effect. So we are we cannot draw any conclusion at the moment. But paleo rich plasma it seems to be one kind of treatment for the Achilles tendon tendinopathy.